Hey guys, today we're going to be learning a really powerful, really cool effect that involves a sound card and a prediction. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, so before we get into that tutorial, let's take a look at the performance first. So this trick uses the four jacks, and as well as that, we need a prediction card. So I'm going to go with this one right here, which is going to get placed underneath the card box so it can't be interfered with at all. Now one final thing we need is a selected card. But just to save us some time, I've already taken the liberty of picking a card and signing it so you know it's unique. So we've got the two of clubs there. Okay, that's going to go down right there, and we'll come back to that in just a second. Remember, I said the, the jacks are used in this effect. We've got hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, and these jacks have a very important role in this effect. So, what happens is if you take the jacks and you take the selected card, you just drop the jacks on top, and then with a snap of the fingers, that selected card will disappear. You don't believe me at first, but if you take a look now, you can see we've only got four cards there. And if we take a look, you can actually see, look, there's no two of clubs in this packet at all. It's completely disappeared. Well, you must be asking yourself, well, where's, where's it gone? It can't just vanish into thin air. You know, if I've only got the jacks in my hands now, well, there's only other one other card on the table, right? That card, that prediction card we placed underneath the card box a few minutes ago. If we take a look at the identity of that card, you can see it seems impossible, right? But two of clubs. So that's what the effect looks like. Let's get into it. So for this effect, you're going to need a few things. Uh, one, of course, is a four of a kind. So you can see here, I've been using the jacks. Uh, the four of a kind you use it doesn't have to be the jacks, it can be the queens, the kings, aces. I recommend uh, some picture cards or the aces, probably. Um, but the four of a kind you use does depend on one other thing. And that other thing is a duplicate card. So that's what you're going to need for this effect. You are going to need a duplicate. So for this one, I was using a duplicate jack of diamonds for that performance. And because I was using a duplicate jack, I use the jacks as my four of a kind. So you get the picture for using a king duplicate, you're going to need the kings and so on. So you're going to need that four of a kind and a duplicate to match. And as well as that, you're going to need a sharpie or something to, to mark the card with. So I've got the signed card that I use in that performance here. Uh, I think this, is, this trick is a lot better if the card is signed. So I would recommend uh, you let the spectator sign it. So that's all you're going to need. You're going to need a card box as well, uh, but that's not uh, like you don't have to use a card box. The the only thing this is used for is just to place on top of that prediction to make sure no one sort of tampers with it. So if you've got like a glass or something, if you're doing it in a bar, I don't know, just place something on top of it. It makes it a bit more powerful as well. Let's get into the handling of the effect. So there's not much setup at all to do. You just need to take out the four of a kind you're using, place that on the table. I have the card box over here and then as for the duplicate card I just have that on top of the pack you can have it really anywhere you want you just gotta uh, get it out when you start the effect so having it in a position where you know where it is is, is helpful but that's all, literally all the setup we can just get right into uh, how to do the effect so you go to a spectator with your four jacks down here and you say uh, th this trick is going to use the four jacks and you just uh, obviously display them on the table and you say it also uses a prediction uh, so you're going to take the deck up out of their field of view and the prediction you're actually going to place down is the duplicate card okay so I'm going to place a jack of diamonds underneath the card box obviously it's very important the spectator doesn't see the the identity of this card so you just take the deck up like this so they can't see it and then go to that position where you know where the selected card is uh, take it out and put it down underneath the card box. As you do it you can explain it's going underneath the card, bo underneath the card box so no one can uh, tamper with it. Uh, it's it's just going to remain there so I can't touch it and uh, just say something along those lines. Then you come back to the jacks and you say as well as the jacks we also need a selected card. You offer them any card in the deck they want. They take it out, it really is a free choice and then they sign it. So just for continuity purposes, I'm going to be using the same card here, the signed two of clubs. So something you can do uh, whilst they're signing the card. In my performance, obviously, you saw me take the jacks and flip them over on top of the pack. 
Uh, now, a slide, a slide actually takes place while you do that. Um, so, perfect cover for this move is actually ask the spectators to sign this card or show their friends. And as they're doing that, you're going to perform this bit, uh, this slide, which I'm going to show you now. Now, the reason for this is because we've got two jacks of diamonds in play. Now, we've got one under the card box and one in your hand. So, we need to ditch one before you know we get into the reveal otherwise it's going to be a bit awkward when we show the spectator we've got two jacks of diamonds so this move is actually going to ditch this jack so what this slide looks like is uh, you're taking the four jacks and as you flip them over and you say how useful they're going to be in this effect you've actually ditched that jack of diamonds so you've now only got three jacks left in your hand the other jack is on top of the pack now there are many ways of doing this so I might go through a few more in a second but the way I do this is I pick up the, f the four jacks in my right hand and it's the arrangement of the jacks is very important for this. I heavily out jog this second card down, this jack of spades for me, like that, okay? So I sort of have these first three jacks all like, like, like a staircase sort of, if you look at it like that, they're all out jogged a bit, uh, each one increasing. And then the jack of diamonds, instead of going down here, following the pattern, you place it up here so it's sort of level with that first card, the Jack of Hearts. Now what that does is that when you flip all these cards over onto the pack, like that, you can see I've got three cards out jogged. Now I know this third card is that Jack of Spades. So what I do is I bring my right thumb underneath, I pull up on that break and then I push in. Okay, And as I'm pulling up on those three cards, I just get my pinky in there. I can hold a pinky break and then I can just lift those three cards straight off and uh, turn my wrist, place the deck down because you're not going to need the, the rest of the deck now. And that's that's a really good move because it to the spectator it will just seem like you flip the jacks. The spectator hopefully it will look something like this. Uh, you just flip the jacks over like that. That's what they think has happened. Whereas actually you've, you're ditching that jack. So. Once you've done that, you should be in this position here with these three jacks in your hand. Of course, they think it is full. To reinforce the idea that you've got the four jacks in your hands, you're going to do a Hamza count. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link it on screen and in the description down below. But it's uh, I'm guessing most of you guys will know how to do that. So just do a quick Hamza count to show four cards. And then what we do is we say, so these jacks are going to make your card disappear. And you go through all that uh, patter, take their signed card now, you place it on the bottom, so you get in your left hand in sort of a, me a mechanics grip. You can flash the jacks and say how you're going to place them on top, snap your fingers and their card has vanished. Now you're going to do another arms account to show uh, there's four cards in your hand now, which there is, okay? So this part looks very convincing, because it really does seem five cards have just vanished into four. Uh, the reason for doing the arms account is we need to manoeuvre this bottom card into uh, the third, is it third, or, into another position, I think it's the third or second, I'm not quite sure. So you're going from here to here, snap, and then do an arms account to show four cards. And you can see now, yeah, their selected card is now in second position, which is going to help us. You're now going to do a sort of uh, way of showing all four cards are jacks so it's sort of like a false count because we need to make all these four cards appear to be jacks okay so how I do that is I, I push over the I sort of pull over the top three cards with my uh, in like a biddle grip here so I've got three cards in a biddle grip in my right hand as I pull off a card with the my fingers of my left hand so I'm pulling off that bottom jack so you say look your card has disappeared from the packet and as you're saying that you're doing this false count so one card goes down on the table face down which leaves you with three cards in your hand then you're going to pull back the top card and do a double lift so this is two cards here lift these two middle cards as one so you pull back and then you pull these both these uh, cards together in like a modified double lift so they go over the top and uh, flip them over like that. So you're holding that with your thumb, middle and index fingers on this top right hand corner. You pull that over and flip it like that, square it up. 
So we're on the jack, do a normal double lift to flip that over and then place the top card down. This top card is their selection. So it's very important when you're doing that move that they, they don't see that. So once again, you pull that card back, flip it over, show the jack, double lift, card goes down. Now you're very you're pretty much safe, you've got two jacks in your hand. But having just because you've just shown the jack of spades, we don't want to show that one next. So you show the bottom card next, the jack of hearts. You can linger on this for, for a few like a second or two, then place that down, and then just flash this jack of spades very quickly because the spectator's already seen this, so you don't want them to dwell on it too long. So if you do that all uh, quite fluidly and uh, you, know, you know you don't hold on to that jack of spades too long, it will appear to them that you've really put four jacks down on the table and their card has disappeared. So at this point in the effect, they should be already pretty impressed. Now you're going to start bringing attention to this, this card under the box over here. So you pick up those cards again, the four jacks, separate them, two in each hand, and just another added convincer you can you can do uh, is you can flash the cards like that and show four of jacks. Okay, you're actually only showing three, uh, but if you flash them very quickly, all they see is jacks, and you know it's very easy to fool them to think you were doing that when, when you weren't. You were just doing that. If you are going to do that, be very careful you don't accidentally flash this this two the selected card. You can do that. Then you place, you just throw down the two jacks in your in your right hand because you're going to need your right hand to move this box. You say, oh, there's only one other card on the table. Uh, maybe this is your selected card, something along those lines. And just saying that, you sort of separate these two cards with your left thumb because your left thumb is now going to you're going to scoop this card up uh, with these left hand cards. Okay, so this this card here is going to go on top of this packet. So what you do is you're going to move the card box away with your right hand. So you're going to place that over here. And as this is happening at the very same time, you're going to move in with your left hand and scoop up this card on top of the left hand packet. And it's very important these action, actions happen simultaneously uh, because otherwise it wouldn't make much sense. Okay. Um, what I mean by that is if you move the card box and then have your right hand free, the spectator is sort of going to expect you to turn it over like that. It doesn't make much sense for you to take it into your left hand, uh, mess around a bit, and then turn it over, right? So the whole point of taking it into your left hand is because your right hand is busy moving the card box. That's the whole sort of explanation to it. That's what really sells the effect. So these happen, these actions must happen together. So once again, you move this card box away as you pick that up. And then this part's quite easy. Uh, if you take a look, the selection is in the middle here. Okay? And we want to... This, uh, the spectator thinks this is the selection on top here. So we need to just sort of do a bit of sleight of hand to flip over uh, these two jacks here and still have the selection in the middle. So what I do here is I take out the middle I take out the middle card like that, I sort of pull it out, but it looks like you're taking the top card. Okay? So it's a very fast switch. And how you do it is you're holding the bottom card with your left fingers underneath, like so, and then the top card is being held by your thumb. So no part of your left hand is actually holding the middle card here. Okay, the, All the contact is on these two cards. So what I do is I bring my right hand across, I pinch uh, the middle card on the edges in like a middle grip, and I strip it out. And as I'm stripping that middle card out, I, I, do, I turn my right, left wrist over, sorry, like that, and I show the two jacks. And then I slot that face down selected card back in between them. So now it appears uh, like you know you've taken that card, you've scooped that card up, and then placed it in between them. That's how it should look. So once again, you scoop it up, strip it out. Oh, I was using the wrong card. Sorry, that jack should be on too. So you pick it up, scoop it out, and place it in between. And once you're in that position, you're free to slowly reveal their card was on the table the whole time and that's just a really powerful effect okay then guys that's going to be all for today's video if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave a like favorite comment or subscribe and if you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on on my channel make sure to check out my twitter and my instagram links will be down in the description below uh, also we're very close now to 10,000 subscribers which is a huge milestone so when we reach that i'm going to have a special video out uh, it's probably going to be 
a video about my all showing all my magic collection or something like that. Uh, if you guys have any requests for that 10k special video, uh, leave them in the description down below. I'll see what I can do. Not in the description, in the, in the comments, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty amazing that we're that close to it. Uh, anyway, as always, guys, this has been Cooper Session, and I'll see you later.